Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I've got a very big update on a company that people were quite excited about last time they were making headlines. I will be the first to admit that there's been a time or two where I'm a little premature talking about a new home and people aren't able to get them in the area that they're watching from. It happens. When this happens, it usually leads to unrest in the comments. However, it's worth the heat when I get to come back on here with new info and today is one of those days. I just received a lukewarm, borderline hot tip that a popular two-story prefab home will have boots on the ground stateside in 2024. The company I'm talking about is Cabini and word on the street is they've got manufacturing planned in the US. Here's the thing, people do not tune into this channel for old information, so I give it as I get it so that everyone is in the loop on what's coming. What's coming is a two-story modular tiny home and it's coming in 2024, or so I've been told. We'll believe it when we see it, am I right? On top of that, it sounds like when they're up and running, they'll be available in some of the most requested states, including California, Florida, Colorado, and New York. TBH, I don't get as many requests for New York as I do the other three, but uh, yeah, there you go. The question people are probably asking themselves right now is, what is a cabini? And, and that's a fantastic question. Cabini is a steel frame modular tiny home that broke onto the scene a couple summers ago when pictures started making the rounds online. And I think one of the reasons people were so excited is because it has a completely different look than most everything else currently available in the prefab market. There are a couple things that make the Cabini unique. The first is that it's two stories. In a smaller footprint home, usually to get more space, the dimensions of the main floor would be increased not here. They decided to go up and I think this is more of a style play. By going up instead of adding length or width, they definitely get a different look that otherwise wouldn't be possible. I don't think there's any arguing that this thing has a cool look. It, it just does. The second thing that makes this model unique is how it's offset. Most of the time, not always, but most of the time when a second floor is added, it's placed directly on top of the ground floor. But as you can see, that is not the case with the Cabini. The Cabini is offset. The top unit creates a covered section on the ground level while the space on top of the ground floor unit can be used as a rooftop deck. On their website the description says in our construction technology we follow the path of nature which embodies techniques that are not new but have been proven to be reliable over hundreds of years. Such values combined with modern material standards and a compact design ensure the future maintenance will be inexpensive and simple. This two-story modular comes from a company with almost two decades of construction experience by the name of TF Lavanda. TF Lavanda has experience in residential and commercial construction with hotels, office buildings, and retail buildings. Some might find comfort in the fact that this is a product of a company that's been at it for a while. This isn't their first rodeo. A new video has been released by the company as they start to ramp up their marketing again with the news of expansion into the US. Let's have a look. It starts off with a couple quick cuts of the exterior of the home before zooming out to a Tesla driving through the countryside on what looks to be a weekend away of some sort. Are they roommates? Has this guy been friend zoned? We don't know yet. Croissant sandwiches. This is definitely a romantic weekend. Wow. Look at that. The video continues with a look at the rooftop deck, something that I think adds a little razzle dazzle to any floor plan because they're just cool. We got a bit of slow motion dancing here. We got a bit of champagne. Honestly, it looks like a lovely weekend. If you're looking to get yourself into a romantic weekend of your own, just like this, that would require booking an international flight. The home shown is currently set up in Romania, which is where they've got their HQ. Seriously though, if anyone goes over there, let me know. I'd love to hear the in-person feedback on this one. The website doesn't get much into uses for the Cabini, but like most everything in the space, it would be usable as an ADU, vacation rental, in a tiny home community, or any other number of uses. If anything, the current use and marketing material seems to be gearing it towards a vacation rental, but there are many, many uses for something like this. Let your imagination run wild, okay? The total footprint of the Cabini is 387 square feet. However, because we're able to ship wider homes in North America, I have been informed that that will be increased. Not sure how much, but that's something that's coming. The way the plan is set up, the main floor has an entrance on the side into a fully equipped kitchen. The ground floor goes dining room, kitchen, then bathroom at the back, so it's pretty much wide open from front to back, which likely makes it feel spacious. The bathroom has a toilet, sink, and shower. The space appears to be a fully wet room, meaning there isn't a designated shower stall. Unless I'm missing something, the entire bathroom can get wet, so feel free to go crazy here. Under the stairs, they've got a nook for storage, a good spot 
to cram the dressy shoes you bought for a wedding and haven't worn again. For me, the best part about the main floor is the big window on the end out of the dining room. You can sit there and enjoy the view while eating whatever or doing whatever it is you might be doing at the time. Heading up the stairs, you land in a living space that is separated from the bedroom by storage and a pocket door. This is the space that has access to the rooftop deck. Nice little addition that people typically like. The bedroom is on the end and has another full window just like what's coming out of the dining room. This is a cool build, but I know there are people out there who don't wanna mess with any kind of stairs and you're in luck, they have another model. Another model that will eventually be making its way into the American market is called the Alpinery. Could also be Alpinery, I'm not sure, Alpinery. The dimensions of this model are 27 feet by 10 feet for a total footprint of about 270 square feet. The space is set up as a studio, so likely best for one or two people. I've lived in a studio of similar size and it worked quite well. The way they have this plan set up, the entrance is on the side into what appears to be a bit of a landing. To the right, they've got the living room, which doubles as the bedroom, and then the kitchen is on the end wall. In a space this size, probably best to run a convertible couch that flips from couch to bed and back. The studio I lived in had a queen bed instead of a convertible couch, so it wasn't a fully optimized living space, but I still liked it. Did having a queen bed in the living room lead to a few extra power naps during the day? Yes. Did they, did they feel amazing? Yes. They did. Past the living room, they've got a kitchen. You don't get a chef's kitchen in a 270 square foot home, but it's enough to run a lot of the top programs. At the opposite end of the home, they've got the bathroom and it's all been covered. They've got the sink, they've got the toilet, and they've even got the shower. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think just like the other model, we'll see a wider version when they start to manufacture stateside which is great. If they bump it out to 12 feet wide, that'll take the overall footprint to 324 square feet. Again, this is all speculation, but from what I'm hearing, they're only running with their current widths to simplify shipping where they're at. So it's on the table. Before I wrap this thing up, I am gonna get into their pricing, but keep in mind prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting this video. Right now their pricing is an estimate of cost because they haven't built one stateside just yet, so everything could still change. The price is estimated to be 90 to 110,000 for the two story and around 59,000 for the smaller model. Those prices do not include shipping because it's tough to calculate shipping before knowing where it's going or or even where it's being built. It sounds like they're planning to deliver across the country, but no word just yet on if a factory location has been secured or even what markets they're looking in. What we know right now is it looks like the Cabini will be available in the United States. I'm hearing they will be available in America with the first American built prototype available to visit sometime during this year. I think these are a cool looking home, so I will definitely be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like prefab home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.